What's going on 5J Collectible fans? This is your friendly superhero, Dozer, coming to you with a with another episode. Uh, today I want to focus on just some of the comic books that I uh, collected over the years. Some of the books that I have are some of my favorites. Some are just some that I knew uh, would have some collectible um, value to them. Let's get started. I wanted to show you guys the silver embossed cover of this Wildcats number seven really quick. Kind of hard to see because it's shiny with the light. It's such a cool Wildcats issue and a beautiful cover done by Jim obviously. Here's a proof of the comic book uh, before it came out. We get the front cover and back cover. Really cool. Kind of personal to me because I was uh, co-directing, co-coordinating the Killer Instinct tour, so it's really nice to have this. I actually have several copies of this. And this is the inside and the back cover inside of what it would look like. So this is a really cool collectible item. I don't know if you guys are interested in it, but if you are, email me at 5jmcollectibles at gmail.com. Again, that's 5jmcollectibles if you're interested in one of these really cool cover proofs of this issue. Next is this gold embossed Wildcats number six cover, also part of the Killer Instinct tour crossover with uh, Cyber Force. That's a really, really nice cover by Jim, of course. Beautiful collectible item. Next, I wanted to show you a Stormwatch cover done by Jim, but signed by the late Scott Clark. I wish I would have had Jim sign this one as well, but at least I have Scott's uh, signature on there. What's also cool about that is that my name is also associated uh, uh, with this book. I get a credit maybe for colors. Let's see. Actually, no, I get. Uh, you can see there background ink assist. Joseph Mendoza right there. Also in this uh, issue is when Cybernary and Deathblow were advertised. That was so cool, so special because as you know, I was the acting editor on uh, Cybernary here when Nick Manaba, the late Nick Manaba was drawing it. So I really appreciate this, this issue a lot, Stormwatch number one. Here's an interesting book where um, the biographics and uh, you can tell who these guys are. The Birth of Image Comics. <laughs> it's a black and white comic book that was done <laughs> kind of interesting in the lower left hand corner there or right hand whichever way you're looking at it you can see the the seven members drawn into uh, the book the image members there kind of a really cool piece to have piece of history you guys recall this gem here, Jeff Scott Campbell's um, entry into the comic book world, Gen 13. The cool thing is that he signed it for me too, he personally signed it for me. So this will be my keeper. I bet a whole lot of you have this issue, Spawn Batman by Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane. It's pretty nice. How about this hardcover for tomorrow? Nice cover by Jim. Got the hardcover heroes. 
cover done by Jim Lee, of course. <laughs> Very nice. It's a wraparound cover. This is a another cover proof. There are no contents in here, just the cover. Actually, there's a few. I guess it was just a um, an advertising piece for uh, publishing companies. It, tell, it tells you all the titles that are coming out on, on the first week of May. A signed Wildcats number one by the man himself. Jim Lee. Very nice piece. Will I sell it? Possibly. 5JM Collectibles at gmail.com. Send me um, a message and we'll see what we can do. I believe I've actually shown this um, in a prior video, but I had to show it again. <laughs> Very nice um, signatures by a lot of uh, great people. Very well known right there, Scott Williams. We've got the late Scott Clark right there. We've got Chido Man up here. We've got Brett Booth. We've got Campbell. We've got Alex Gardner. JD. Ryan Benjamin. We've got Alex Sinclair. Cell Regla. Uh, Mark Silvestri, right, right through the cover. Mark Silvestri, signature. I know a lot of you have this book. I got this from Jim. He actually uh, signed it for me, and uh, he had it on his desk at when I went to visit uh, the DC Studios with Wills. So he had it on his desk, and I was looking at it, and he says, "Do you want it?" I said. <laughs> I didn't want to seem desperate, but I said, I, you know, I would, I would appreciate it. And he's, and he went ahead and signed it for me along with other things. He signed my, uh, WonderCon Batman shirt as well, but this is really cool, uh, that he did that for me. And as you know, this is a really nice black and white with some colors in it, the word balloons, but if you want some reference on how to draw like Jim Lee, it's all right here. I may do an auction for this book. Or if you want to send me an offer, you know where to find me, 5jmcollectibles at gmail.com. Send me an offer and uh, we'll see if we can uh, work out a deal. All right. Here's a super book to, to have collected as well. It's from the Comic-Con. And it's Jim's beautiful wraparound cover. Some of others, Jim Lee Nice Creations. Beautiful covers. The Thundercats. Really cool cover by Jim. Really nice cover with the ladies on there. Green Lantern. Really nice cover. Suicide Squad. Nice cover. Batman and Robin. And Batman and Robin. I'm sure a lot of you have The Art of Homage Studios. Really cool book. Very nice piece. I've got two sealed wizards. Or Wildcats Wizards. Send me an email if you're interested in uh, these books that are sealed completely. And who doesn't love Jim's Punisher War Journal run? Nice, nice cover. A lot of great art too. With Spidey. That's a nice piece too. The Punisher Armory. He's an early... Jim piece, nice Wolverine Punisher piece. And we've got some Alpha Flight by Jim. Another Alpha Flight. Lots of freaking drawing that Jim did and is still doing. I wanna thank you all for your patience. We're all going through the Corona COVID-19 uh, virus lockdown. <laughs> 